Let's take a look at NECA's Toonie Terrors, Michael Myers. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at a Toonie Terrors once again from NECA. I have unpackaged and reviewed the Jason Voorhees Toonie Terrors. He is right here behind me. So that's what we're going to do today. I've been opening these NECA Ultimates lately and I'm telling you I need a break from that. They are so good. They blow my mind so much. I get so in, so so enthralled with them. It's so good to open those, but I need a little bit of a break. So we're going to go to NECA Toonie Tears, kind of an easier, relaxed unboxing. Now, this is Michael Myers from the movie Halloween. I am real excited about this because he is going to look really good next to that Jason Voorhees right up there. So let's check out the packaging. We have ages 17 and over, warning choking hazards, NECA, Toonie Terrors, Michael Myers here, Toonie Terrors there, big blister box right here. And on the back side, we have an opportunity to cut that out and get some photo ops. It just looks like a door. We got a pumpkin there, lights on, on the porch. It could be Michael Myers' childhood home. So let's go ahead and get him out. I am gonna do just like I did Jason. I am going to cut along the sides here and hopefully get him out without tearing the package up too much. Now this is one that is, it seems really hard to not tear up, so I may end up throwing these packages away. But I will definitely keep the card back. Definitely keep that. But for now, I'm gonna try doing this. All right, I think I might be able to pull that out. Not sure, let's see. Get a whole pull out, yep, I did. And here he is in his plastic coffin, Michael Myers from Halloween. Yes, the shape, as he is known. So let's go through these accessories first. We have a cap on this first accessory, which is a knife. And how awesome is that? Looks like very cartoony. Michael Myers' favorite weapon. Next we have, oh my goodness, this is gonna be hard to get out. A pumpkin. And look at that. Was that off Halloween 1 or Halloween 2? I can't remember. I think it might have been Halloween 2 at the beginning, that pumpkin at the opening scenes. All right, that's our accessories. Now, we are tied in right around the waist, so we are going to cut that tie. We will pop Michael Myers out, and there he is. Michael Myers has been resurrected. Very good looking, empty package. Set that to the side, get our tie out of here. So here he is, check it out. Let's go through articulation. Head back and forth, that's it. Will it go all the way around? Yes, it will. I wonder if we can get these heads off and mix and match Jason and Michael Myers. How awesome would that be? Not sure. Shoulders all the way around. This shoulder's not gonna go around because it's gonna hit his face, but I think it would if you, eh, yeah, we can get it around there. He's got a pry that shoulder out a little bit let's see we have no waist articulation leg up back look at that straddles of course no splits no splits there no ankle articulation that's it that's it on articulation and i'm okay with that oh looky here we do have a little bit of head movement wow left right well this is when he you can make his head go sideways because he when he pins that guy up against the wall and then looks at his work of art, if you remember that scene in Halloween. But uh, yeah, let's check this out. Now we'll get this knife. Try this knife in his hand. Do we go under or over? Will it go either way? I'm not sure, let's see. Yeah, he'd go either way. So there he is, Michael Myers with his big knife, hand down to the side. How high can we get to, oh, looky there, look at that. 
coming to get you. What a character. What a character John Carpenter created when he made Michael Myers in Halloween. So very cartoony looking. Really nice. We have the pumpkin. Let's see what we can do. The hands do rotate around, so I may be able to take his pumpkin. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. He can hold his pumpkin and his knife. So very nice. Awesome stuff. We'll get... We'll go ahead and get Jason Voorhees down here and compare these two. Look at him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I need Scooby-Doo action figures. I do because I want Scooby-Doo to meet Michael Myers. I want Scooby-Doo to meet Jason Voorhees. This is totally awesome. Way to go, NECA. You're pulling me in. You're pulling me in. That's going to be it for Michael Myers. So we're going to set him right over here. You know what? We'll set him over here. And Michael's having a little bit of trouble standing up. We gotta lean him back a little bit. There we go. We'll put his pumpkin right there. All right. Now, I want to do this. I've never done a book review before. And this is not going to be really a book review. This is going to be more to enlighten you and, and hopefully get you to pick up these books by my friend Steve L. Clark. Now, this book is called The Collapse of Ordinary. It is some short stories, and Steve Clark is one heck of an author. I mean, he's my favorite author right now, and I'm not just saying that because I know him. I'm saying that because these books are awesome. So this is the first one I want to take a look at, and I'm not trying to brag here, but I got one that is autographed right there how about that huh how lucky am i autograph says too rich thanks for supporting my work steve l clark awesome stuff now very very easy read he's steve is so imaginative and such a nice guy too just a nice guy i'll tell a story about steve i don't know if he'll want me to tell stories on him but i'm going to tell a story now steve clark has written a lot of books He's got a lot of books out there. And if I ever meet somebody that we have a mutual acquaintance with, and this is the kind of guy Steve is, we'll get to talking. And we'll maybe, you know, yeah, I know Steve. Steve's awesome. And I'll say, have you read his recent book? And they'll look at me like, scratch their head, like, what do you, what do you mean read his book? I said, yeah, he's, he's a writer. He goes, he's a writer? Yeah, I, I say, yes, he's a writer, and he's a very good writer. Horror novels, you got to check it out. And they're like, I've known Steve for 10 years and didn't know he's a writer. That's the guy, kind of guy Steve is. He will not go out there and toot his own horn. I'm telling you, he won't. So that's what I want to do. Check this out. You can go to steveclarkbooks.com and follow him. He's on X. He's on Facebook, and he does. I will tell you also you can go to Amazon and pick this book up right here, or you can get the Kindle version, and there is right now. This is special, special news. And I'm going to try to put this uh, little montage of, of uh, kind of a, I don't know, a commercial for Steve and his upcoming book, but I'm going to try to put that up on the channel in this very video, but he has a brand new book called Center coming out, and you can pre-order it now for your Kindle, on Amazon, but the physical copy gets released October 31st of this year, Halloween, woo! So I can't wait, I cannot wait, I'm so excited. He has three, four, five books out there right now. I've read them all and they're all spectacular. Such a good writer, creative, but yeah, Steve L. Clark, steveclarkbooks.com. I've got it written up there. I'll put it on the screen also. Please check him out. Check this out. If you read, if you don't read, find a little bit of time. This book, I'm telling you, is full of short stories. So you can, you can, read, a, you can read one of these stories in 10 minutes, I'm telling you. And, and you can put it down. And that, I'm telling you, you won't want to put it down though. But if you have to put it down, take a break and read another story, it's well worth it. Check it out, steveclarkbooks.com. And with that, for Michael Myers, for my friend Steve L. Clark, till next time, oh yeah.